fuel shortages are gripping Nepal with motorists and taxi drivers forced to queue for hours to buy strictly rationed petrol. The landlocked mountainous country relies on imports for its, for its oil needs. Well, Nepal is currently millions of dollars in debt to its suppliers and for those who rely on petrol for their survival, day-to-day -day life is becoming increasingly tougher. Sabina Shrestha reports. Early morning in Kathmandu, the capital city of Nepal. While some people are already up, others have not yet seen their beds. These taxi and cab drivers have been waiting all night to fill up their tanks. Since January this year, Kathmandu has been facing acute petrol shortages. Political tensions around the country sometimes close roads, disrupting fuel deliveries. And fuel shortages make people frustrated, deepening the political tensions. It's a vicious cycle. Karma Lama has been queuing for petrol for over nine hours. Festivals are coming up and I cannot even think about it. There has been no time to go home and sleep at night. I have to work all day long and then come back here and sleep in the taxi. But despite waiting all night, Karma cannot get a full tank of petrol. The pump has a quota of just 10 litres and that's only enough for one day's work. Before the crisis, he made around $10 a day. Now he has days when he earns less than a dollar, making it difficult for him to support his family of five. The problem has reached almost all households in the city. Over 300,000 people in the city rely on motorbikes. The government body responsible for fuel supply is Nepal Oil Corporation. It owes a supplier, the Indian Oil Corporation, over 45 million US dollars. We are buying at higher rate, at higher price and we are compelled to sell it in low price. So the simple business ethics has not been followed here. Dr. Devinder Rajpande is a former finance minister who now campaigns for democracy and good governance. Well, if, it, if I had something to do, I said I would do two things. Either, either um, raise the price and, f and face the brunt of the people's anger, the consumer's anger, politically, or forego some tax revenue and compensate the loss of the oil company. The Indian government cut the fuel supplies by almost half, draining Nepal's reserves. But recently, they offered a temporary rescue, enough fuel to last until elections, originally planned in November. However, the crisis has not abated. The government has just suspended November elections. Now it is uncertain if the Indian Oil Corporation is going to continue providing fuel and credit. More strikes are expected. In this fragile political climate, this crisis is not going to end anytime soon. For those who want to avoid queues, there is a thriving black market. This man has been selling fuel with a markup of 50%. With the current uncertainty hanging over the country, he could be reaping the benefits for much longer. Subina Shrashta, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.